Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Up next at Second Stage is A Parallelogram, the new play by Bruce Norris under the direction of Michael Greif. It will begin July 11th and we drop by the rehearsal room to meet the cast. How excited are you? First of all, welcome back to the New York Stage. Thank you. And this is my fourth production at Second Stage. Yeah. So that in itself, it's like this rehearsal room. I'm like, this is where I rehearsed the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee and Bachelorette and a Michael John Lacusa musical. And now I get to be here in the presence of Michael Greif and Bruce Norris. It's really exciting. I love this room because there's a safe in this room. <laughs> That's right. Not every rehearsal room in New York City has that. Let's talk about this play. I mean, Bruce Norris, brilliant playwright. Like the first few times you read it, what went through your mind? You know, I've been a huge fan of Bruce's for a long time. And, and the first time I read this, I was like, oh my God, this play is hard. This is a dark, classic Bruce Norris play. And quite honestly, that was a huge part of what drew me to it. I think he the way that he views the world and the way that I view the world are, are different. And I thought that that would be a very um, challenging and interesting way to uh, approach some work. Is it great to do something out of your comfort zone? Completely. And I think, you know, the, the nice thing about this play is that it's also really funny. And so getting in the mindset of, of someone who has a different world view can be challenging, but when there is humor to sort of lift it up, it makes it um, a, a much more enjoyable experience. And then there's the cast. What's it like working with? It's a perfect ensemble. Yeah, you know, what's really funny is that I've, I've seen Silly on stage so many times and just being completely blown away. And then now I'm here like in rehearsal and like we're doing a scene and I'm just like, I used to just watch you, like you're a mate, you know, and now we're just, so that's been surreal in a lot of ways, and you know, I feel really grateful. And then there's Steven and Anita. Yeah, yeah, Steven's really, really funny, and Anita is crazy good. She's crazy good in this, and uh, she's perfect for this role. And yeah, it's just it's been a pleasure just watching them rehearse, and a lot of times I forget my cue because I just get lost and just like watching them do a scene, so yeah. What are you looking forward to the most about that first performance on stage? Uh, getting through my lines properly. <laughs> it always comes down to that, doesn't it? Yes, you know, the last play I did, A Confederacy of Dunces in, in uh, Boston, we had five weeks of rehearsal, and we barely had three before we're thrown in front of an audience. It's like, ah! And this play is more words than I've ever, you know, but they're Bruce Norris's words, so you really, you know, you have to respect that. A Pulitzer Prize winner, a fantastic script. What can you tell us about the man that you play? I don't want to give too much about the play, but so much of the play is about, okay, here's the choice I made. How does that affect me? How does it affect somebody else? And can I go back and can I change those things? And if I do, does it affect anything or does it just affect me? Is, am I just, do we just live insularly or not? And, you know, it's a struggle for Jay all the way through, and for all of them as they try to figure it out. What a great cast. I know, this cast is amazing. I feel like when you're in a cast with only four people, you got to really hope that everybody is 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 bringing it. And this group of people is just a really wonderful group of actors to make this play with because I think we all we all really care about the play and we also have a lot of different perspectives. And so that, you know, Anita is 80 years old and all I can think is like, if I am 80 and I can keep that many lines in my head and have a sense of humor and be as present and and inquisitive as she is, I'm gonna be feeling pretty good about my life. Yeah. You know, I've seen Steven on stage many times and I'm a huge admirer of him, of his. I'd never seen Juan and he's, this is, he, I think he's done like one other off-Broadway play and he's just a total pro and, and a great, person to collaborate with. He's in awe of you. He says, I watch her. I, I remember seeing her in all these incredible shows. I, I miss my cues in rehearsal because I'm like watching her work. That makes me feel good. That means your incredible director, Michael Greif. What's it like being in the room with him? I think that I've never worked with someone that understood actors so well and he understands exactly how the process works from, uh, from an actor's point of view. and. What he has been really helpful with is making every single part of the play logical. And um, that's really important because the play can fall into this, is this real, is this not real? You know, it kind of, it, it can get blurry 
And so Michael has been very good at making that clear, at least for me, and I'm, I'm really grateful for that, yeah. What are you looking forward to the first performance on stage of this show? Totally getting through <laughs> it. No, it's, it's complicated stuff, it really is. And uh, much of it, without giving it away, is, a, is about, you know, about just ever small changes about going back and forth, and I think we're all, we all want to live up to the specificity that Bruce so eloquently put in there. So I, I, what I also, what I'm really interested in is seeing how people respond, you know, to the humor of it and to the pathos. Of it.